Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Guardian of the Galaxy game on your computer. Now the first step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to Nvidia website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your right operating system. Search. Now click on download. Again, click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Then you will see this screen, click on agree and continue. Then put a check on the box which says custom. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here, then click on next. And after the clean installation, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, go ahead and allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. In case if you're using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to update and security. If you have Windows 10 in Windows 11, click on privacy and security. Now click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down over here, you can see manage ransomware protection. Click on manage ransomware protection. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. In your case, it might be in C drive. So open program files x86, then open the steam folder, then open the steam apps folder, then open the common folder. Then over here, you will find the game folder. In my case, it's in D drive. So open the steam library folder, steam apps common, then open the game folder over here and then open the bin folder and then select the game exe file, then click on open. And once the game is added, try to launch the game. Now also disconnect uh, any USB devices such as flash drive or external hard drive is connected to your computer, which you're not using uh, because in my case, the USB flash drive was connected and I was not able to launch the game. So you can go ahead and disconnect the external devices and then try to launch the game. The next step is to uncheck exclusive full screen in launcher. So launch the game. And in the launcher, go to options. Now, if you have this option checked, which says exclusive full screen, go ahead and uncheck this because this is also causing crash to desktop and this was happening with me so I uncheck this option and then click on apply and then try to launch the game and you should not crash to desktop. Now the next step is to disable ray tracing so again go to launcher click on options and here you can go ahead and disable all the ray tracing over here and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is for AMD graphic card user. So I don't have AMD graphic card, but um, this has worked for many user. So try to roll back your graphic driver to version 21.10.2. So for this, you can go to AMD website and then go for manual install, select graphic, go ahead and select your graphic card over here. This is just an example. I don't have AMD graphic card. So select your graphic card over here and then click on submit. Now, if you have Windows 11, then expand this and do not install this, install this one that is 21 period 10 period 2. So go ahead and download this and install this on your computer. Now, if you have Windows 11, you can go ahead and expand Windows 11 and again, go ahead and install this particular version. And this has worked for many users, so it might work for you. Also, if you have a Redon software, you can go to games, open the Redon software, then go to games and then select the game and then turn off all the graphics settings and this has also worked for many users so I don't have the AMD graphics so I cannot show you but this has worked for many users so it might work for you. Now the next step is to try to launch the game in window mode so again go to game click on options now if full screen is checked go ahead and uncheck full screen uncheck exclusive full screen Go ahead and uncheck these two options and also turn off vSync then go to graphics and then you can go ahead and if ultra is selected you can go ahead and select very high or maybe you can go ahead and select high or medium and even low you can go ahead and select and then try to lower down the graphic settings and then you can go ahead and hit apply and then try to launch the game. 
Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file from Microsoft website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. So download both x86 and x64 version. So click on both the exe file over here. Then run the both the exe file. Click on repair or install whatever you see. Click on yes to allow. And then run the second file as well. Click on repair or install whatever you see. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Now do not restart now. Let both the installation complete. And then you can go ahead and restart your computer. Now you can go ahead and restart your computer. And after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now the next step is for Windows 10 N edition users. So if you have Windows 10 N edition then you have to go ahead and install media feature pack. So for this go to the start menu then click on settings and then go to apps and then click on optional features. Now click on add a feature and over here you can go ahead and type in media feature pack. Now I have Windows 10 home so I don't have media feature pack over here but if you have Windows 10 N edition you will find media feature pack like this. So when you type in media feature pack in the search box you will find media feature pack over here. Now you have to go ahead and put a check on media feature pack put a check over here and then click on install on the bottom and after the installation you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now in case if you have Windows version below 1903 so you can go ahead and check which version you have and this step is only applicable if you have N edition. So you can go ahead and open run box. In the run box you can go ahead and type in Winver that is W I N V E R then click on OK and here you can go ahead and check the version 21H1 in my case. So if you have version that is below 1903 you can go ahead and copy this link and then open this link in a browser. Again it will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here you can go ahead and select whichever version you see. So if you have 1903 select 1903. If you have 1809 select 1809. Click on confirm download the file install it and after the installation you can go ahead and launch the game. Now the next step is for um, is to run the game as an administrator. For this go to Steam make a right click on the game. So if the game is running go ahead and close the game or close the launcher and make a right click on the game. Select manage then go to browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Open the bin folder and then make a right click on game exe file then select properties. Now go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and then click on ok and then try to launch the game from here. So just make a double click over here and launch the game. Instead of launching the game from here go ahead and try to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card. So if you compare a game with dual graphic card run the game on the dedicated graphic card. So go ahead and type in graphic settings in Windows search box. Click on graphic settings over here. Click on browse. Go to the game installation folder. So open the steam folder steam apps common open the game folder and then open the bin folder select the game exe file then click on add. Once the game is added click on options select high performance then click on save and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game files. For this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification try to launch the game. Now the next step is to perform clean boot. So for this go ahead and type in system configuration in Windows search box then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here first then click on disable all. Now in my case it's grayed out. I already did it. In your case it will be highlighted. So put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply. OK then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game. Disable steam overlay for this. Make a right click on the game, select properties, uncheck the box which says enable steam overlay while in game. Also uncheck steam cloud over here and then try to launch the game. Now in case if you have any other overlay application. So if you have discord running in the computer go ahead and close discord. So if discord is running go ahead and close discord. 
Now, in case if you have G Force experience running, go ahead and close G Force experience. In my case, I don't have GA Force experience. So if you have GA Force experience running, go ahead and close. So close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI afterburner running on the computer, go ahead and close MSI afterburner. Now, in case if you have a Reva tuner running on the computer, go ahead and close Reva tuner. So close all the overclocking application. Also close all the apps running in the background. So make sure that only the Steam and the game is running. The rest you go ahead and close all the application, including all the browsers. Now the next step is to uninstall. So if nothing is working, you can go ahead and uninstall the game. So make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. After the uninstall, delete the game folder from the game installation folder and then restart your computer. After the system restart, reinstall the game to another drive. So if you have any other hard drive you know, available, you can go ahead and try to install the game to another hard drive or SSD. So, and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game. So one of the steps should definitely help you to improve the performance on PC. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.